down here at North Pine Dam today. I'm going to show you how to catch some red claw crayfish land based. Again today we're using um, potato for bait. A bit of potato. I've got a bit of um, old pasta bait thrown in there as well. The guy around the corner said he was using cabana for bait and other people are using dog food or dog biscuits. They all seem to work. All I've done here, I just put the bait in the pot. I close the pot up. If I can. This is where the cable ties come in handy. I'll just walk out in the water and throw it out. We'll come back and check that in about half an hour and hopefully there'll be some decent sized red pool. about half an hour now and I thought we'll check the pots and see how many we got. bit of time doing this for a day you probably end up with a really nice feed. I've still got a couple more to check but for half an hour I've probably got about 12 so far. <laughs> Didn't think I'd get wet. We've been here for a couple hours, maybe three hours now. I've moved the pots once. Once I've got a few, I move them a little bit. We've got about 50 today, which is pretty good. It's quite a good feed for three or four people. There's some decent ones in amongst them. And as I said, I'd just like to show you guys how we can actually just go down to the, to the bank and catch them land-based. All you need is a few opera house pots, a few boiled potatoes. Some people use um, rock melon and things like that as well. But what I do ask guys, if you're coming down here and catching red claw, please do right, do the right thing. You're only allowed to have four pots per person. They have to have their name and address on the pot themselves. And if you use a float, you must have your name on the float as well. 